we go. First fish. First fish, right away. Right away. Oh, it got off. It just got off. It just got off. That was a little Sierra, I think. Damn. Oof, we were on. We were on, all right. That was quick. That was quick. We're at a beach up north right now. And a couple casts in, already had one bite, one hookup, but it just got off. I'm gonna keep casting because there might be a school here. I can see humpback whale way, way, way out in the distance and it's jumping all over, making full breaches about a mile out. Now I got one. Now I got one. Yep, fish on, fish on, fish on. It's gonna be tricky getting it up this bank though. You gotta keep tension here, and I'm just gonna have to kinda fling it on up here. Got it. Nice, one fish down. That's We've been here like 10 minutes. I've hooked up twice, landed one. I think this would be a good day. We went to a beach way up, way up north because the water down where I was is way too warm right now. And I, it's looking really, really good. I had a really good feeling about the day going into this because yesterday in the afternoon, ooh, it was super, super windy, uh, but the wind was blowing south. So what I was hoping is that it'd bring cold water down. And I think that's exactly what it did. And I think it brought the bait fish down as well. Because right now, two hookups in 10 minutes for me. Really, really, really good. I think we're really gonna get into the Sierra today. see behind me the sun is rising super super nicely so hopefully sunrise will activate a bite even more than it's already active as my lure is going to be able to shine through the water and I'll, I'll show you well once the sun comes up what I'm using what I'm doing and everything else it's a little strong here even though there's a good bite we're gonna look for a less strong current and try fishing over there because this might be throwing our lures around a little too much I think We'll have a better chance somewhere else. All right, looks like the current is a little better here. A little better, but we're really here because we saw some bait fish. So hopefully there's some Sierra chasing them. Now we're gonna keep moving, we're gonna keep moving. I think a little further south. See what the heck is up over there. Right, so we've been moving a lot this morning and that's because yesterday the wind was insanely insanely strong and it's making it 
so that a lot of these beaches have insanely high uh, waves and insanely strong currents so they're kind of very very hard to fish so we're trying to find uh, kind of the best possible spot we're looking around and it also seems like the bait moved so the sierras moved what we got into in the morning where i hooked those two that was just a little school so i don't think that was going to persist throughout the day so we're trying to find you know more sierra we want the bigger schools we want to get into a steady bite basically but the sun is up so i'm assuming the camera can now see so i'm gonna show you what i'm using what i'm doing all of that and basically i'm using the same setup as always the 12 6 rod so this is the century slingshot and then the 6500 daiwa saltist as my reel spooled up with 30 pound braid and then my leader right here is connected with this beautiful fg knot right here highly recommend this knot for anyone who's surf fishing for kind of bigger fish or with heavier gear and what my leader is it's 50 pound fluoro and i'm using fluoro because it's a virtually invisible in the water and these sierra are highly visual predators and it's 50 pound fluoro because they're also pretty toothy fish so actually a big sierra will be able to bite through this uh sometimes you know if it, if it bites it right so it's kind of a kind of a gamble but i'd rather that than using a wire leader because wire leader will just decrease the amount of times i hook up so i'll take my chances on it biting it off now let me show you how i'm retrieving this thing so basically that lure is i think two ounces so i'm just going to cast it out as far as i can And then once it's hit the water, close my bail. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple of seconds. It doesn't have to hit bottom. And then once it's down, just start quickly reeling. I can, I can just keep my rod straight and I can just switch up the speed of the retrieve. So slow down and then speed up. And basically that's gonna give the lure a more erratic movement and that's gonna attract the fish because they love that panicky looking movement. But there's many other ways I can retrieve this. You know, I, I can vary the amount of time I let it sink. So if I want it closer to the surface, I just let it sink less and I can keep my rod tip up and just put the rod between my legs. And then as it does get closer, I am going to put my rod tip down because I want it to stay in the water. You know, this is not a top water lure. Wow, look at that humpback whale out there. And I've been seeing there's so many of these every single time I'm at the beach. Wow, full breach, full breach from that whale. Oof, wow. Every single time I'm at the beach, I see humpback whales. All right, guys, we gave it a try for a while longer, but the current and the waves were just so strong. There was just not much action other than this little Sierra at the start, so. You know what? I kind of thought we were gonna catch more just based on two hits in the first 10 minutes of being there. But that's how fishing is sometimes, you know? You could catch a fish on your first cast and then not catch anything for 10 hours. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, tight lines.